hello everyone welcome back to my channel biosimplify today we are going to study and understand about balanced diet and deficiency diseases so here we start with balanced diet a diet which contains all important nutrients in the right amounts is called a complete or balanced diet what are nutrients nutrients are the component of food like carbohydrates fats proteins minerals and vitamins including roughage no single food contains all the nutrients we need in the right proportion to be healthy suppose a person living only on a meat and bread both meat and bread lack vitamin a c and d and also low in calcium some amount of roughage will be provided by the bread the diet will therefore not be complete until the fruits milk and vegetable are also consumed so balanced diet must contain food from each of the following groups like protein groups milk groups vegetable and fruits and cereal groups the diet should be planned so that the body gets sufficient amount of each nutrients as well as sufficient calories roughage and water now we'll see deficiency diseases diseases that are caused due to the lack of nutrients in the diet are called deficiency diseases deficiency diseases cannot be transmitted from one person to another let us know how lack of certain types of food components in our diet can harm our body protein deficiency cause a disease called kwashior kor a diet deficiency in protein affects young children particularly they are put on starchy diet with less or no protein it result in a disease called kwashior kor symptoms are the stomach becomes swollen with water the hair becomes reddish and fizzy physical and mental growth of the child is slow down the skin get discolored marasmus a diet deficient in carbohydrates as well as protein cause marasmus marasmus is more common among infants and children under 5 years of age symptoms are a child suffering from marasmus become very thin slow body growth lack of energy loss of appetite weak legs mental retardation poor muscles development here you can see a image a child suffering from marasmus malnutrition the deficiency of proteins carbohydrates and fats is known as protein energy malnutrition that is pem the ratio of protein fats and carbohydrates in the diet is 1 is to 1 is to 4 people who do not get to eat enough suffer from malnutrition due to insufficient nourishment here we can see the deficiency of vitamins vitamin deficiency of vitamin a cause night blindness symptoms are dryness of eyes and improper vision vitamin b1 deficiency of vitamin b1 cause beri beri the symptoms are nervous disorder digestive problems and heart abnormalities Here you can see the image of the scurvy rickets and beri beri Vitamin B12 cause anemia symptoms are lack of stamina and appetite and pale skin Vitamin C cause scurvy the symptoms are loosening of teeth spongy and bleeding gums slow healing of wound here in the image you have 
seen the symptoms of scurvy with lack of vitamin d cause rickets symptoms are weak bones joints and bone deformities like bow legs and pigeon chest with lack of vitamin k cause hemorrhages excessive bleeding the symptoms are it affect the clotting of blood now here we'll see deficiency of mineral deficiency of iron cause anemia symptoms are pale body loss of weight swelling in hands and feet body fatigue lack of calcium cause osteoporosis in adults rickets in children symptoms are brittle bones excessive bleeding weak teeth and bones lack of iodine cause goiter symptoms are enlargement of thyroid gland mental retardation lack of phosphorus cause rickets in children symptoms are weakening bones poor development of bones and nervous system retarded growth sodium and potassium lack of sodium and potassium cause body and mus muscles weakness pa and paralysis general symptoms are general weakness and dehydration lack of magnesium cause weak muscles and nerves loss of appetite and upset stomach deficiency of water in the body what is very essential for proper functioning of our body excess loss of water from the body leads to a condition is called dehydration dehydration cause loss of salt and leads to weakness in the body oral dehydrating solution can be given to the patient to recover from the dehydration i hope you must have understood about balanced diet and deficiency diseases if you like this video like share and subscribe my channel thank you